Uh, okay, we're live. Good stuff. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm live today. Happy Thursday. Sorry, I had to remember that. Okay, here we go. Just flashed a whole bunch of things. Hi. All right. Happy Thursday. I'm here on a live today to talk to you a little bit more about cravings. We talked about cravings last week a little bit, and this is a bit more in addition to that. So what I wanted to share today was that cravings could also be caused by nutrition deficiencies. So that is to say that your body may want high calorie foods or bread or sweets or salty things and so it has all these cravings because actually your body is deficient in essential nutrients, all right? It's something that definitely comes up in my practice and I wanted to share that with you because not only are there emotional reasons for cravings and also seasonal reasons for cravings, there's like nine to 10 different reasons for why people have cravings. Sorry, it's a little piece of hair on my, <laughs> the back of my, here we go, let's fix that up, okay. So yeah, so there, I wanna to talk today about those nutritional deficiencies in case this is something you might be experiencing. So I thought this would be very helpful. Um, let me give you some examples. Well, first of all, let's just say that the body, you know, actually has a way of communicating to you, sometimes a very odd way of communicating to you that there's something missing, there's something going on. So um, our bodies can also crave high calorie foods and a lot of sugary foods and fatty foods when we don't have enough rest. So rest and being rested and like really having that relaxation time, getting that good sleep in matters a lot as well. And our body shows us sometimes when we haven't had enough, if we're constantly craving something like sweet or excessive calories and stuff like that, all right, when we haven't rested enough. So that's something to keep in mind. Now nutritional deficiencies are a huge reason for craving. So sometimes we'll even see somebody who is obese, who's clinically obese, who actually is totally, like their body and their cells are starving. Their body and cells are starving for nutrients, but they're obese, all right? But they're seriously in need of nutrients. The cells are just like, help me, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's a really interesting phenomenon that I don't know if you're aware of, but that really happens. And coming back from that kind of a level, someone who isn't obese can still be experiencing cravings that you feel like are uncontrollable or like why does this keep coming up and you know what's going on and um, you know when maybe it's hormonal and maybe it is hormonal right but at the same time it could be nutrient deficiencies it's one of the easiest things to actually test for so when I work with people one-on-one -on -one in my practice I do look at blood work and um, we do a nice thorough blood work um, through a functional, which is also like a naturopathic doctor. And it's more thorough than conventional blood work. I have nothing against conventional blood work. It's just that it's not as thorough. It doesn't, it's not as user friendly. So we get this whole 45 page report. When was the last time you got a 45 page report, right? So we talked about that actually in a previous video. If you wanna go back and find something like that, it was about um, not having, sorry, not having negative anticipation when you go to your annual physical. It's a really good video. Okay. so. Nutritional deficiencies are a huge reason why people have cravings. If you are craving sugar and sweets, you could be low in magnesium, you could be low in chromium, you could be low, there is a, usually a mineral deficiency. If you're craving salty foods, you may also be low in minerals, okay? If you are craving ice, like when you wanna suck on ice, could be a very low iron in your system, all right? Um, fatigue is also a sign of low iron and B12 and B9. So um, that's also a really interesting thing to note, right? So if you're tired all the time, but you're like eating, you could just be really low on certain components of your food that are those minerals. Let's see what else I could share with you. Um, yeah, if you're just craving like excessive calories, you may be just nutrient deficient across the board. They may be so many deficiencies. This usually comes about from the SAD, which is an acronym for Standard American Diet. A standard American diet is usually very low in nutrition, very low in nutrients. You get so many diseases and disorders come out of something like that, right? 
So your body needs nutrients, your cells need those nutrients to survive, to thrive, to, you know, keep you alive <laughs> and beyond, right? So it's so important. And uh, let me think if there's anything else. There's a whole section, if this is of interest to you, I would recommend that on an annual basis that you get your full blood work because that will be, sorry, full blood work from a functional doctor um, and or a naturopathic doctor where you will see, it would be easy to understand, it will say, you know, how much magnesium is in your body, how much iron is in your body, you know, this is beyond your general physical, you will find out where you are in terms of all these nutrients. I would also recommend getting a D3 tested as well. Um, yeah, and then once you know that, because all of these pesky food cravings, so for sweets, we talked about those minerals, especially chromium and magnesium. Salty foods, again, there's a lot of minerals. Let me think, bread, if you're craving bread, it might be, um, gosh, oh, just a second, I actually have my notes here. Sometimes you get on video and it's a little bit harder to Right, nitrogen deficiency, and that could be found in fish, meat, beans. So bread cravings could be a nitrogen deficiency. Um, fatty foods, if you're craving fatty foods, it could be, again, it could be just a general deficiency of nutrients in your body overall, but it could also be that you're not getting enough calcium. Um, so yeah, really something to think about. Where are you guys here? There we go. Really something to think about. And again, the body is trying to communicate to you and it's very interestingly trying to do it through cravings. And funnily enough, these cravings don't really carry the nutrition that we're looking for. So it's kind of a trick because it doesn't really, it may pack a lot of calories, but it's not hitting that quench, that quench for those cravings, right? So um, if this is a topic that's of interest to you and you really want to, you know, not only get cravings under control, I don't really like to think about having something under control because it's sort of like it's always going to be there if it's under control right if you just want to eliminate your cravings um i have two sessions in the energize executive 16 week supercharged total nutrition reset and they are let me actually pull them out so i read them exactly as they are but these would be the ones for you so module four is get the junk out of your trunk, release the toxins keeping you stuck on snooze, and wake up feeling excited, rejuvenated, and ready to seize your day. Tap into an unlimited source of energy as you feel light, powerful, and unstoppable. So that's module four in my Energize Executive program. Then module five, crush cravings, I quit sugar, and beyond. Unleash your unstoppable energy, your limitless focus and power, rock solid confidence, and a life enhancing lightness of being without the sugar, caffeine, or other addictive crutches. So I have personally quit processed sugar, really like pretty much all sugar, like brown sugar, white sugar, even in foods like no sugary cakes and all of that kind of stuff, pops. Everything that you could imagine with sugar in it I don't have for 12 years now. And I never crave them. I, it's it's so over. It was like it was like that breakup that was just like what a relief. <laughs> totally right. So um, so I quit sugar 12 years ago. I also quit caffeine 12 years ago. That was a harder breakup because <laughs> I'm from Vancouver. Um, and uh, and so in Vancouver, it was just very very very. Uh, easy to fall into caffeine addiction let's just say right with starbucks you know across the street one starbucks from another starbucks right and just the the incredible jolt of energy that i'll get from caffeine but it was something i absolutely had to quit because it was giving me a massively irregular heartbeat to the point of surgery and just a just a terrible experience overall um ulcers in my stomach like almost having ulcers in my stomach terrible acne you know all these things when you quit these things again it's like that breakup where you're just like <sighs> <laughs> right <laughs> burn that bridge <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore because you're so relieved after the symptoms go away all the detox symptoms you know and that's an important part of the process because you realize this is not natural <laughs> this is really not natural you know if your body is detoxing right this is not a illegal substance this is sugar and caffeine these are illegal substances and so 
quitting those were, were you know, were, I'd say it's hard. I know how to teach it now because I did it. I quit and I, I did it. I quit it. <laughs> and, uh, and I can teach it now. And um, I did cold turkey because that was what I had to do. But I can teach gradual methods and also methods. But anyways, the, the thing is, 12 years later, totally sustainable. Totally sustainable, right? So it wasn't like a detox for two weeks, one year, one month for January, right? It was like legit, this is going to be the rest of my life. And especially when you're having symptoms of withdrawal, you realize what was in my body. Like what was I doing, right? Skin clears up, brain fog clears up, right? Those, those addiction feelings like, oh, I have to have something sweet. Oh, this, oh, that, right? Like totally gone totally gone you know you have like that full it's not even control it's a full freedom it's like a liberation you liberate yourself from these substances okay that can include alcohol so I also quit alcohol for gosh so many so many years and that was also for my heart and now I realize I can have a little bit of wine to incorporate once in a while but it's just not a really big deal for me and it's like it's gonna be okay now but it's not a big part of my life do you know what I mean because it's not like a it's it, it's not like something that is something that I think about, you know, so you liberate yourself from cravings for sugar You just free yourself like never having to have that craving or coffee, right? Never having to have that craving. Could you imagine? Um, I highly recommend a life like that and you know, you really start to see what it was doing to you and When everything clears up and your body heals on this like so radical healing that happened when you quit all of these substances legal substances and yeah, so I teach it. <laughs> it's part of the energized executive because you're not an energized executive if you are stuck on snooze waiting for the coffee, right? Like your body's all jammed up with toxins. You have these like crutches. You're relying on crutches. You're an energized executive when you are lit up from the inside out. You're liberated from all of these crutches and, you know, false methods of energy you're just liberated you're lit up you're limitless and you're the most legendary presence that you can bring to this world do you know what I mean and that has so much to do about nutrition and that's why I teach it because the transformation I've experienced in my life is the kind of transformation I really wish for everybody you know um, I really like that's what I'm here to bring that's what I'm here to share and I look back now on the things I've been through and realize that that process I was going through was one that was growing me up and as I learned how to navigate things on my own I now know it inside and out can teach you right I've been there I've done it I've done it for myself I've done it for other people okay so that's the whole that's the whole beauty of it you never have to you know get a new program kind of a thing right so i'll talk about that in another video um about the you know incredible waste of time and money that people spend on programs that don't last i'll talk about that in another video <laughs> so it's so wasteful i hate waste um yeah so so that's something i teach and 12 years in not looking back like i said it's the kind of breakup that you just really really grateful that that happened um all right guys so this has been wonderful let me know if you have any questions. DM me if you would like to chat about the Energize Executive. It's starting September 1st, so the countdown is on. I'm very excited. And so, yeah, it's a digital program. You can actually register from anywhere around the world. So, yeah, this is, this is global. This is global. This is not just Bermuda-based. We are looking at, you know, a beautiful digital curriculum that we can deliver to everyone around the world. So very excited about that piece too. All right, so have a great day. Hey, so you made it to the end of this video. I have a lot more you're going to enjoy, so be sure to click to the next one, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to make sure you always know what's happening. This is Agatha from Fueled and see you in the next video.